this is a great name. Nicole Hardman or Hardman is probably how he goes, but we're going to call him Hardman. <laughs> the Hardman. Uh, wide receiver 38, 92 overall. The Chiefs traded up with the Rams. They got the Georgia wide receiver with the number 56 overall pick in the draft. What do you think? I mean, I mean, they obviously the Chiefs have got glaring issues potentially at wide receiver. We don't need to get into the whole Tyreek Hill thing right now. We will certainly talk about that. Oh on the yeah, pod. That, that, that's sitting thought. there waiting for sure. I have thought. Oh, uh, we I, we both have thoughts, and we'll get to that maybe next episode when some more veteran focused thing. Because yeah, there's yeah. tons of implications. We could do a whole podcast on Tyreek Hill and what that's going to mean. Um, but then you, you look at who they go and draft. They clearly are not expecting Tyreek Hill back because they draft what everyone said was the Tyreek Hill clone of this draft. He had four three three track all star style speed, smaller guy. So I mean, it's going to be very easy to pigeonhole this guy into the Tyreek Hill role, and he'll play that role. Now, if he'll play that. That role as well as Tyreek Hill? Probably not. Very few people are actually that dominant on the field as Tyreek is, but he has the same skill set. He's going to play with the same quarterback who's an MVP and slings a better deep ball than anybody maybe in league history. Uh, so no, is he Tyreek Hill? Uh, no, but he offers all the same athleticism, playing in the same system, playing with the same quarterback. So could this guy still have a major year one impact? Absolutely. Uh, so I love this guy a lot. I mean, number six on the rookie rankings is no joke. He's in my top 100 overall, my wide receiver 38. I could see him being one of those flexes that you hit it at the right time and you get your 30 type points. Any any piece of the Chiefs offense is going to be right. amazing. Uh, and, you know, you got Sammy Watkins, one of the most injured injury prone receivers as the only guy ahead of this guy potentially for the number one role. So I, I between I didn't even think of that. And as I'm talking, I'm thinking this is a handcuff with benefits at receiver in the most explosive offense in the league. So they're just from his own perspective and skill set. I love it. And then the fact that you have that benefit if Sammy Watkins, if I should say when Sammy Watkins goes down, then this guy ascends to Mahomes' favorite target outside of Travis Kelsey. I get that, but I'm talking about receivers. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, there's just so much upside to this guy. Uh, so explosive, so fast, and just the perfect landing spot for him. So McCole Hardman, very solid, hard man. <laughs> if you yeah, want to call man. it. The hard man I, is, I, is what a I great call fantasy him. bargain. Yeah. 